What's going on, family? Man, I hope you guys are having an absolutely splendificous day. It's not a word, but hey, I shot my shot. Hey, look, man, we are back at Illinois Motors, and I got a gym for you guys to check out, man. Yeah. Stinky baby. A little stinky. <laughs> Just a little. I'll tell you what, it may be a little stinky, but this car does not stink. <gasps> awesome. What's up, guys? You see, we're back. My buddy Tim, man. And boy, do we got a chopper for ya. Oh, yeah. Lots of chop. <laughs> oh, my God. So, this is a, what year is this? 10? 2015. 15. Camaro Z28. This is. Pretty much the only factory track, full track oriented Camaro, except for the ZL11LE, of course. Right. Um, but this takes the track to a different level. The ZL11LE has a lot of compromises. This is, you know, I, I, I guess actually less compromises. This is way more compromised because it's way more performance. Uh, so it's it, got some very special stuff done to it as well. It adds a little bit more to fear factor. You have to drive this car. Oh, for sure. I yeah. mean, it's a safe car. This platform is excellent, yeah. but the whole package of the car is way more serious. Gotcha. ZL11LE, steel brakes. Yeah, this you know, thing got carbon ceramics, huh? It has factory carbon brakes. Jeez. That just tells you what kind of car we're dealing with here. This is not... It's a Z28 really? with yep, factory is. carbon Z28. brakes. Yes. Wow. And Z28, if I correct me if I'm wrong, anybody who knows this stuff better than me, Z28 was the factory option code back in like yeah. the 60s for like a stripped out Camaro. It was. With the biggest engine option. With the biggest option, yeah. So, so Z28 gave you your greater performance option. It was Camaro back then. I believe race car. it was the 427 yeah. engine in it too. Yep. Which this coincidentally follows directly in line with the lineage of the, of the old Camaros. Yeah, because the older Camaros, the SSs usually had the 350, so it had yeah. the smaller motors. Yeah. Man, this thing. Oh, it breaks on the back, it's stupid, man. <laughs> the, the, um. You're just speechless. <laughs> yeah, because the caliber, uh, this thing got brakes on the back that are big as some front brakes, but the 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 caliber um, plate, yeah, is is stainless. That thing looks awesome. Yeah, you don't see that. Usually they're black, yeah. right? So black or whatever other color they go with, but hardly ever stainless. That is really cool. Yeah, this whole thing is just dope. I mean, everything about it, like you know, this is a real enthusiast Camaro. This is taking it to a different level. If you like Camaros, this is kind of like the top of the line as far as uh, ultimate engagement goes. And when I tell you this thing is like 
crazy clean. Yeah. Guys, you know, for us <laughs> who, who actually take the time to detail cars, right? You, the touch of, the touch of paint, it, touching paint is always like this very full par, right? You don't want to touch and scratch or mar paint. Because your finger and dust is now sandpaper on paint. This thing has to be PPF. I've never felt something so soft. It's got low enough miles where it might not be. I really don't know personally. This, it might have a PPF though. So know. this is a 15. How many miles is on this thing? I can't even remember. <laughs> it's so low. It's so low miles. 5,700 miles. Oh my God. And we got to go over the engine because that's kind of the star of the show. And I'm because really trying to... Uh, Y'all need to, when I say there's like not even fingerprints on this, like not one, I have not found a swirl mark, like not one swirl mark. It's super clean. This thing's it's crazy it's clean. Nice it you, want, you want like the nicest one out there? I think this is pretty much as close as it gets. And, you know, these hold their value like you wouldn't believe. It's because they just don't, and, and I think what's kind of, uh, solidified this car's value is they didn't make another one and they're not going to. Yeah, that's shame. true. Because people were expecting the ZL1 Z28. Yeah. Uh, like the like the, the current generation ZL1 yeah. to have a Z28 and they were expecting it with the ZR1 LT5 right. 750 horsepower. Right, engine. right. The big that boy. That would have been like a GT500 killer right. on the track. All day long. Because the platform's better. Yeah. This is a better platform. The Alpha platform is yeah. better. Yeah, this it's very, it's a sturdy, it's a track proven platform. Yes. Yeah, this is a monster. And it's, you know, it's really something to just kind of know all of the little ins and outs of this car because God. it's not just a normal Camaro. Maybe from a distance it just might look like an XS, but when you get close, there's some very distinct visual cues. The flares. Oh, wow. For one, you want to talk about Dodge wide bodies. Well, Chevy did it first in 2015. True. Sorry. And the hips on this thing in the back is ridiculous. Yeah, Jeez. definitely not as crazy as what Dodge does. No, but... Um, it God. is pretty much one of the first factory wide-body cars, definitely, yeah. as, as far as American muscle goes. There's been some examples of just selling it. Um, factory Arrow, there's, this is an option, is the, is the spoiler extension. Yeah, it has it on. Yeah, and there was not many options for these cars because they wanted to keep the ethos simple. And they got it low right now, so you can also raise, if you notice, guys, they got the lower. So if you want a greater downforce, mm -hmm. you basically go to the lower pins, raising this up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Simple stuff. It's extreme. Yeah. Adjustable arrow, carbon brakes, lower weight because everything's pretty much stripped out. There's no screens in here, guys. There's only an LCD for your radio. That's it. And this car, thank, you could actually option these cars without radio and air conditioning. So this car has radio and air conditioning. So it's a good street car. I mean, that's, a, that's taking still it to a different it. level. You can still drive it. Um, but this is, especially with the packages this car has for performance, it's, it's something special. This thing is clean. It's the last year this oh. engine ever sold in a, in a production car. Really? What makes this car so special is... The engine, so we gotta. I gotta pop the hood. God, this thing is so clean. Can you give me two seconds? I gotta remember what. <laughs> <sighs> so this thing is like extremely clean. I'm, in um, like again, I always see something special when we come here, man. So don't mind me, man. I'm. You know, like you guys, I'm taking this stuff all in. It's just psh, ridiculous. Oh, and that's something else. This is the first car to have what some people know and some people don't. The New Zeal ones have it, but this the is hollowed. not solid. This is the flow tie. That's yeah. what it's called by Chevrolet. The hollow, yeah, hollow bow tie is a so, flow tie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was it's just cool. literally checking that out just yeah. now, literally. Like, on the New Zealand ones, they hide it so well, because you wouldn't even tell. Yeah, if you look at it from it a like distance, a it just looked like a black badge. Yeah. But when you get close, you realize, hey, man, you can actually go inside this thing. Oh, my God. Let's Carbon see. fiber factory that's not an add-on. Wow. Here we are. Man, look at this. LSX motor, bro. 
So oh my god. This is an LS7. These were all fitted with the LS7 from the C6 Z06 generation Corvette. And put the LSX package on there. So this has a KTEC uh, or KTEC, I think it's KTEC, stage two head scan Kotec. package. I think KTEC. Not sure. All I know is that it makes a considerable difference in the performance. <laughs> 650 horsepower and, oh. and um, they do way more than just head scan. It's throttle body and there's a ton of other things. I just can't list them off because I don't have the brochure in front of me. But. Remember, we put all the details at the, in the description below. And for whatever I don't add, you can always go to the website and view all the things that's been done to this car, all options that are there. Um, and if it doesn't exist there, make sure, sure you give them a call. All that information is below. Or come visit the car because this thing is crazy clean and need to be seen. Bars. <laughs> yeah, <that> is bars. <laughs> so this engine Sheesh. is awesome because even stock, what we're dealing with here is something that pretty much rarely ever happens, even in like a muscle car. This is a factory seven liter V8 God. with a 7,200 RPM run. You have got <laughs> to. Be it's crazy. Me. And, here, and here's the, here's that's the catch. Race, that's, that's, that's race car numbers. <laughs> here's the thing, here is Jeez. the catch. We are talking about General Motors. We're talking about a company that has to make this mass producible and um, affordable. Yeah. When, they, when this engine first debuted, Shh. And I think this personally, I believe this extends to all LS7 engines, stock ones, valve train issues, considerable valve train mm. issues, valves dropping because that kind of RPM with a seven liter engine that Man. you're asking a lot of the valve train. Well, the Canadian heads, this supplier, it was a Canadian company. They were getting sloppy with their valve guys. Okay. So the valve guys, they were just were not, the tolerances were not good and yeah. they drop valves. Oh, wow. And it was a consistent problem with LS7s. That issue is completely gone when you do head scan. Oh. This car has head scan. Thankfully, this is a 2015. It's a later production engine. There's a good chance that this wouldn't, wouldn't even affect a later engine because General Motors was definitely made aware of this problem in 2007, 2008. Correct. But this engine is just fucking crazy. This is bananas, <laughs> man. It's, it's cool. It's... You know what's weird to me was hearing the exhaust, right? So the exhaust... It's different. Like when you fired up, it was angry. Yeah. When you pulled off a little bit, it got real, real quiet until you backed off of yeah. it. It got loud again. When you gave it a little bit more, yeah. it went past that sweet spot. It got loud again. Yeah. Weird. There's all kinds of tones. And, and so my buddy has a C6 Z06. Yeah. His car, he had heads done preventative, not like performance mods. He just wanted the safety done. Yeah. I rev that car out to 7,000 RPM, and it just doesn't even sound natural. It sounds like you're over revving the engine, but that is what it's designed to do. Oh, 7, wow. 7,200. And it's just the craziest sound, because you just, you're not used to hearing a pushrod engine rev that high. Yeah. Unless it's in something like, with like fucking 3,000 Yeah, car, yeah, like, like a race car. Yeah, exactly. So drag car, fun. This is super cool. It's, it's super cool. And it's super clean, like, there's so many things about, so many factors, in my opinion, that made this such a wonderful buy for the right person. Um, from the performance, from the cleanliness of this vehicle, the, it's been very well taken care of, even for a car that has so much performance done to it. Um, got, it's like they got a car, they did all the really cool stuff to it, and then really didn't drive it, really didn't do much to it. it reminds me of, <laughs> like, like my buddy Ray, man, Ray, he only took his car to the track. He drove it around a little bit, and then he sold it. But he sold his car with 1,100 horsepower and 6,600 miles. Hell yeah. <laughs> like, wow. He was, you know, it was time to go to something else, and he bought a Camaro, so that's interesting. Yeah. <sighs> Got to show you guys the inside. The seats are ridiculous. There's an incredible bolster to these seats and it's like guys like crazy crazy clean and i mean we did say five thousand miles on this car it's not like we talking no you know yeah but what's kind of cool about this car is that or like with this interior specifically they're not even uncomfortable that most is aggressive but it's not an uncomfortable seat at all oh not it, like, at all not, 
Not at all. <laughs> Guys. This thing feels incredible. It feels really, really nice. The seats feel really good. It feels super comfortable. I can put this on the road for a while. Yes. Like, I can cruise this thing for a minute. Everything feels good in here. It's it like... It does. Yeah. They got nice, nice Alcatara in here, Alcatara. On the dash, on the seats, on the stick, on the steering wheel. Um, you got any on the door panels? Um, no. no, but they do have some nice leather here. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a minimalist car. It doesn't have the really big screen. It has what feels like everything it needs. And that's it. This is a performance car. And it doesn't really compromise in areas that you would think, like the seating. Like, it's still comfortable, but it still manages to get the weight down considerably from the other Camaros, like the SSs and stuff. And it's just cool. <laughs> this is a nice car. Man, this thing feels good, man. It feels really, really good. <laughs> the seats feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's because of the day I had so far, but the seats feel good. Yeah. This is a nice car, guys. Man, this. If you're looking for a Camaro, a rare Camaro, something that you're going to drive and enjoy, something that you may take to the track, something that you may want to just pull up at car shows and, and let people see it, this is, this is it right here. This is an oh, if you know oh you God. know car. This is an if you know you know car, and yeah, this is a tree, bro. This is so nice. Worth mentioning, we also have this car up on our website for 69.8. It's got a comprehensive list of all of the modifications done uh, with the, what the K Tech Stage 2 heads cam package entails for these. Um, yeah, it's just special. It's, you don't, I have, I don't remember the last time I've seen a Z28. Actually. No, I can't tell you yeah. either. I've seen them at car shows and stuff like that. I don't think I've ever seen something that looked like this to this caliber, right? This is a very, very clean car. Um, for those who, you know, again, when you say it in the know, it's got an extra pedal, guys. It also just needs... I, I, it's I that fun pedal. We've had a few guys with Porsches inquire about this car. Really? Yes, GT3 guys. Because these are the type of guys that are going to the tracks. Yeah, this is the track car. Cars. Yeah. And, and what's really important about this engine, LS7s, they're all dry sun. Which oh. means... You don't have to worry about that dog on uh, oil shifting. Exactly. You can take it on the track and have a good time without exactly. worrying about losing oil. It's designed to track. Everything about it is designed to track. And um, it's just really special. It's cool. Yeah. It's, I don't remember the last time I've seen one, actually. When it came in here, I was like, oh my gosh. It's been at least two to three years for me, personally. I've been to car shows. I haven't seen it. Let me tell you the part that pops for me with the gloss black wheels. Is all the gloss black arrow yeah. on the bottom that just and the giant hits. Splitter. Yes. <laughs> yes. Diffuser looking beautiful. This giant chin splitter. And it's super clean. And honestly, it's the only thing look like it's got bug anything on it, right? Mm -hmm. Is the chin. That's it. Everything else? Clean. It's a nice car. Yeah. Ooh, nice car. Oh my God, this is a nice car. Guys, if you're looking for this car, man, all the details are on the website, just as Tim said. Um, hit them up, come through, go to the website. This is one you got to see. I'm just saying. <laughs> you got to see, man. Sheesh. Listen, man, you know we don't do normal things around here. This thing right here is not normal. This is a very special car, man. Super, super clean. She. <laughs> Look, man, we don't do the normal right here. Why is that, man? Because we were designed from greatness. Because we were designed for greatness. Guys, we have the right, the responsibility, and the authority to never be average. I don't see nothing average around here. I don't see. Yeah.